The Two Housewives by Carolyn Wells. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Dale Grothman. The Two Housewives by Carolyn Wells. Once upon a time, there were two housewives who must needs go to the market to purchase the day's supplies. One of them, who was of a dilatory nature, said, I will not hurry myself, for I doubt not the market contains plenty for all who come. She therefore sauntered forth at her leisure, and on reaching the market she found, to her dismay, that the choicest cuts and the finest produce had all been sold, and there remained for her only the inferior meats and some withered vegetables. The other, who was one of the hustling, wide-awake sort, said, I will bestir myself betimes and hasten to the market, that I may take my pick ere my neighbors appear on the scene. She did so, and when she reached the market she discovered that the fresh produce had not yet arrived, and she must content herself with the remnants of yesterday's stock. Morals This fable teaches that the early bird gets the worm, and that there are always as good fish in the sea as ever were caught. The end of The Two Housewives by Carolyn Wells. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain.